Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol WMIH. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I let you this time frame think it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis uh, several days ago, so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from. And uh, after today's pro uh, price movement, definitely some updates here need to be made, and the price is continuing to, to chug along. And I think when I first started doing this again, when the price was still down below, what, like $1.35 ish, I want to say, that could be a lie. But definitely, you know, I first started doing this chart when it was, you know, back around the $1.40 ish mark. So yeah, the uptrend continues, and that's the name of the game. First thing I'm going to do, though, is just actually get rid of that line right there. Sure, it still pertains to the chart, it's just not relevant. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't want to risk causing confusion because there's clutter with lines all over the place. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible. Now, the first update that does need to be made comes about based on a foundational rule on charting which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you want to see them act as support. So $1.50, this will mean a little bit more to those of you that have watched the past videos, but hopefully you do remember that this was that level of uh, resistance. But now that the price is up above it, uh, you know this is the area that you would want to see act as support. And so far, so good. You can see during the final 30 minutes, uh, the bears did push the price down there, uh, but the bulls did a fantastic job of holding that support and then you know getting that little miniature bounce during that final 30 minutes. So $1.50 you know, is that preferable area, uh, meaning that'd be great if the price can stay above it. However, if the price does drop below $1.50, I'm not saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. That's just, again, that preferable area. Taking a step back and looking at things from more so a big picture point of view, that's where the purple line here comes into play. The uh, 50 period simple moving average, as the name implies, that line is going to move itself higher and higher over time. So a very basic but highly effective way to judge the health of the price movement, this right here being defined as the movement, just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. How are you going to best visualize that? No questions asked. So overall, great move today. You have some resistance now up around $1.54, but in my opinion, top priority is not necessarily breaking resistance. It's all about just going through healthy consolidations and building higher bases. So let's see how the week closes out the week tomorrow. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.